hello learners my name is madhusudan uh, i work in department of education and education and technology in school of social sciences university of hyderabad today we will be talking about community involvement in education government initiatives when we talk about community and elementary education the most important idea or concept is community participation community participation is regard, regarded as fundamental requirement for improving the entire education system in fact when we talk about community participation it can be considered as a paradigm shift from community development to community participation this is the time when national policy in education and 73rd and 74th constitution amendment were, were taking place and in fact community participation can be taken as empowering the people or the grassroots democracy it was emphasized in various policy documents that the people need to have power in the decision making process therefore community participation is considered as one of the important linkage when we talk about elementary education policy makers educators and others involved in education have recognized the significant role communities can play in the administration in the management and even in the monitoring of the educational institutions that is schools in fact a teacher plays a important role a central role in in terms of administration and management of the schools on the other hand community members who can contribute in terms of uh, administration even in terms of managing like for example sometimes in the distribution of free textbooks or even the day to day activities of uh, handling mid day meal or any other activities community members always have a say and uh, have something to contribute in terms of administration management and monitoring of normal school activities there is a mounting evidence that community involvement in schooling can have a dramatic impact on education access retention and quality researchers in the recent past have shown that more community members take interest the schooling facilities in terms of access the facilities in the school or even uh, for the matter establishment of the schools even where there is no school there is a lot of change when it comes to the interest from community members has shown the improved access the educational access similarly there is a lot of positive change in terms of uh, uh, reducing the drop out of uh, students it's not necessary or it's not essential or it is not the final condition that only we take care of enrollment of the students but it is very important to retain the students so wherever community members have shown interest or have taken participation in the school activities the retention capacity of the schools have in increased and to a greater extent such schools have started performing well and it has reflected in the quality of overall performance of the students and it may be reflected in learning outcomes of the students so therefore uh, research is uh, very much showing that there is a strong evidence that community involvement has a positive impact on schooling one of the important recommendation of the national policy in education 1986 was related to empowering communities for management of educational institutions at the local level or grassroots level the national policy in education recommended the establish establishment of an appropriate institutional framework village education committee for example the community members play a very important vital role in management of primary education the move towards decentralization and empowerment of community in the context of the 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment relating to panchayat raj institutions also talks about community participations or community participation or importance of the community involvement when we talk about democratic decentralization or panchayat raj institutions we basically talk about delegation through delegation central governments normally transfer responsibilities for decision making and administration of public functions to semi autonomous organizations or semi autonomous school districts usually these organizations have a great deal of discretion in decision making they have an important role in uh, say in decision making at grassroots level they may be exempt from constraints on regular civil services personnel and may be able to charge user directly for services so therefore delegation is one of the important thing that we 
uh, when we talk about uh, Panchayat Raj institutions or democratic decentralization. On the other hand, when we talk about this uh, democratic decentralization, we also talk about devolution. Another type of administrative decentralization can be considered as devolution. When governments devolve functions, they transfer authority for decision making, finance and even management to units of local government. Devolution usually refers responsibilities for services to local bodies that elect their own councils and have independent authority to make decisions. In fact, in a devolved system, local governments have clear and legally recognized geographical boundaries over which they exercise authority and within which they perform public functions. Hence, it is this type of administrative de decentralization that is a devolution that underlies most political decentralization. Hence, taking this into account, uh, the learning objectives for today's session is that in this section we will be dealing with community involvement in education with special reference to government initiatives. We will be talking about to understand why and how the community could be involved in school education. Also, uh, we will be trying to analyze the importance of the involvement of community in school education. Well, there is an increasing realization that involvement of the people, especially rural, poor and landless laborers and even urban marginalized groups like uh, those living in slums and uh, squatter settlements, even people belong, belonging to disadvantaged groups like scheduled castes and uh, scheduled tribes and women in programs of educational development is very much essential. When we talk about uh, elementary education, we talk about schooling at grassroots level, we have several issues, problems by design to our own educational system. For example, absenteeism. As a result of absenteeism, student will start losing interest in learning, he may become low motivated and as a result, he remains aloof from his educational loop and, and he may be considered, he or she may be considered as the potential dropouts, maybe one day he becomes dropout. So, therefore, absenteeism is a very serious issue and community members play vital role when it comes to retaining students, try to check why it is a, st uh, some, some students are getting absent from schools. Other problem like education in conflict areas. See, one of the important condition for normal school functioning is peaceful social atmosphere. And in our country, we have several areas where conflict or conflict hit scenario we are seeing. In such scenarios, the most affected section is children and the schooling. The school here is not normal when it comes to its functioning. And uh, usually, children start uh, along with the family start migrating, out migration of children takes place. And uh, in most of the cases, the children are affected and those who cannot migrate also, out migrate also, those who remain here also on regular basis education, uh, learning activities, even teachers regular participation in the classroom may be very difficult. So, therefore, overall in education, education in conflict areas is also serious issue. Here community members uh, can, can, can come into picture, take a vital role, important role in, in dealing with education of uh, students. Some other issue like education of deprived children, already there are sections of the students who are deprived and community. When we talk about equality of educational opportunities, community members from all the sections can, can take care in, 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 in collaboration or, or in consultation uh, with the schools. And we also see some schools with some discrimination practices taking place. Deliberately or not so, discrimination practices affect children and it may have a psychological impact on and it can take place in terms of caste, creed or, uh, or even girl child sometimes is uh, 
and in, in, in such situations, in such scenarios, community members should come forward and uh, take care of the, the scenario and uh, bring in some sensitization with the schools and uh, other who are concerned with. And in some cases what happens, there are some areas usually the schools uh, are, uh, are come under flood prone areas. In flood prone areas, again children are most affected. Children become victims of the situation and uh, as a result you will see disease, malnutrition, undernutrition and uh, not to talk of schooling on regular basis. Here community members come forward and they should be talking about some alternative arrangements for schooling. Similarly, when we talk about uh, schools where there are no teachers, when we talk about uh, single school teacher or like we need to appoint para teachers. Here community members play a vital role when, when we talk about uh, appointing para teachers who are available locally and, and uh, who can contribute to the schools. And sometimes schools have their own scenarios, issues, challenges, their teachers and community members need to innovate certain things in order to engage children and the community uh, in, in a teaching learning activities. For that purpose, you need to have innovations in, in, in schooling on, on a day to day basis. So, it is not just about the teacher. Who, who, who will innovate, even sometimes community members come forward and, and give some clues or ideas of how to engage children in more meaningful manner. Again, when we talk about uh, normal schooling, we say we have uh, done enrollment to a great extent, but still there are many children even today who are out of school. Uh, they are never enrolled, even if they are enrolled, they are in the beginning part or most part of the time they are out of school. Community members, they may not focus only on the children who are in the school or enrolled in the school or regularly going to the school, but rather children and adolescents who remain out of school. So, community members play a vital role in this regard. Similarly, we all know girl child and uh, her education is, uh, is, is again at a disadvantage community members play a very important role in, 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 in education of girl child. Similarly, community members play a very important role even in learning assessment and learning level improvements. The moment they start interest in their own children's education, there is a positive change in or impact on learning levels of children. And similarly, there are range of issues problems which are specific to local situations and, and the community members who play a very, very important role in this regard. Let me tell you one a very innovative project that has been done at a, at a grassroots level, at community level with the help of uh, few stakeholders, important uh, individuals uh, who came out with an idea of a school mushroom project. It is done in Garo Hills of Meghalaya. Basically, this can be considered as an innovative garden based learning or experiential learning. It is a small scale actually, it is a small scale pilot study of an experiential project for school children on training about mushroom cultivation. Garden based learning is an instructional strategy that utilizes the garden as a teaching tool. Basically, the outcome of the project are linked to the improved school participation in terms of regular attendance and reduced burden of dropout. The, the how the project was taken here is few community members came forward and uh, the easily available materials were used and with the help of community members uh, 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 mushroom house is constructed with the local resources the training is given to the children and uh, a follow up is done even children on their own started growing mushroom and uh, community members uh, especially the, the um, dropout elders who were in the uh, village have took interest and they helped the young children to, to learn about mushroom growing and it was linked with the economic activities also. Much details are not taken care here, but at least the community uh, youth have come forward and dealt with uh, dealing children and so that uh, they, they start spending more time in schools. Here, if I can show you one video, how from the 
community participation participation is also essential for democratization of education especially in the perspective of achieving equal opportunity participation is indispensable in order to avoid having the community become indifferent towards the education system if the community itself becomes indifferent to the school then the outcome will be very difficult or you cannot expect the school to run very smoothly and participation is indispensable in order to uh, or in uh, it's an important instrument to stimulate initiative when we talk about community participation it is village education committee major responsibility of village education committee relate to preparation of micro level planning micro level planning will be learning separately in some other section and uh, when we talk about uh, the responsibility of village education committee uh, it's about school mapping also in the village through house to house survey and periodic discussion with the parents the other functions of uh, these committees include generation of awareness among the community so as to ensure participation of all members and development of teacher instruction and community part partnership to oversee the effective and regular functioning of the school community members play vital role very important role in bringing the awareness at 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 a overall village level what is the importance of education in fact community participation in education got translated into reality with the creation of various grassroots level structures such as village education committee school management committee mothers teachers association parent teacher association mothers association and women monitor groups under various educational programs such as district primary education program that is dpep sarva shiksha abhiyan that is ssa added emphasis has been given to the formation and involvement of vecs and ptas in elementary education with specific roles and functions right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009 also makes it mandatory for all the schools to constitute the school management committee and also specifies the functions of village education committee or wards committees in the planning and management of elementary education village education committee can help to decide where the new school needs to be opened in the village which schools need to be repaired which classrooms need repairing they can also see if the teacher is coming regularly to the school and teaching properly if teacher is not coming regularly then what may be the reason talking to him or her even they can also see if the sufficient classrooms are available and classrooms are not overcrowded also sometimes the community can also supervise if the books are given to students on time the distribution of the books which is a very important thing for a teacher and timely making provisioning of the textbooks is also very important thing and in many cases it has been seen a regular activity that is mid day meal is given properly timely regularly in the school many community members they come and contribute their labor at the time of providing mid day meal in the school community members can visit the school any time even they eat with the children to know if the food served is of the good quality they can also visit households and identify the children who are not coming to the school talk to the parents and ask them what may be the reasons if some children are repeatedly remaining absent community members vec members they can also motivate the parents to send their children to the school in short we can say that community participation the involvement of the community members from all the sections of the village is very useful in enrolling the children and retaining the children even in improving the quality of the education a normal day to day learning activities teaching learning activities of the school 
community participation in education is being envisaged as an efficient strategy to achieve many objectives. It helps in increasing the relevance and quality of education. It helps in improving the access and coverage. It helps in identifying problems reflecting local priorities. There may be several issues, there may be several problems, but it is the community members, it is the VEC members who decide which one, which of these problems is to be attended on a priority basis. Even VEC members, community members contribute in developing relevant curricula, if not curricula, at least learning material, teaching learning materials from locally available materials, suitable learning materials can be can be contributed to the school. Even improving ownership is a very important thing, local accountability and responsiveness is a very important thing that community members, VC members play a very important role. And especially when, we, when it comes to reaching to the disadvantaged groups, this is the responsibility or the, the contribution of uh, village education committee members, they, they have to take care. Even in mobilizing additional resources and building institutional capacity, overall institutional capacity, the contribution of resources from, from local resources also sometimes uh, can be taken care by the village education council. Participation of the community in the educational activities is useful in many ways. It helps to increase the mobilization of the financial, human and material resources required to make the educational system efficient. It becomes easy to adopt education to the needs, problems, aspirations and interests of all sections of population, especially weaker sections. Participation is essential to keep community involved in the educational reforms. It is also an important instrument to stimulate initiative. Community participation will keep the teacher alert and responsive. There is a saying, it takes whole village to raise a child. Nowadays, when, when perspective is changing, when things are changing, lot of community participation is taking place. People are started talking about or have changed the same saying that it takes whole village and technology to raise the child. And if I have to re remind a, a, a very well said quotation I am reading, it is rare that something that is dearly owned and held preciously by all gets lost or fails. It is said very well by one Miss Smriti who works for capacity building at Pratham. Thank you so much.